Hello everyone, it is our reverse and welcome to today's newsflash. In this video I will bring you the latest updates on events in Knights and Dragons and as always I will go through them briefly and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the events. So this week we have uh, uh, quite a few events, not actually quite a few, we have a few events and uh, we're actually going to take a look at it right now and before we actually get into that, in case you didn't notice, I have a new microphone right now, I'm very happy about that, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the sound, I'm very nervous because I'm recording uh, this right now for the very, very first time i didn't even do a test record i was like let's just do a uh, recording straight away very happy with the new microphone if you're actually curious to see what it is uh let me know I'll, I'll actually tell you guys in the comments as well so the events this week we have the first event is the fusion fighters blitz it's actually another guild where that has been announced and then after that we are finally able to collect your rewards right now if you did craft and keep if you, if you craft and cap the Firewing Wasp and the Vermax and the Aeroknosis boss armors, you're capable of actually collecting rewards from the uh, Creepy Crawlers boss collection event. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, what the events are. I'll be going over to that a little bit later. But we'll also be entering the third week of the uh, Creepy Crawlers boss collection event with the third epic boss, of course, being Aeroknos. The big spider, the almighty king of spiders, break a leg, Arachnos, and break his leg, he has still 7 legs remaining after that, so it really doesn't make any sense either way. So, um, the one thing I'm really disappointed about this week is the weekly arena tournament, it's going to be the creepy crawl brawl tournament in which you can win the Ages of Sky Majesty, and to be honest... It doesn't really make sense to me at all why they would add the Ages of Sky Majesty again, but we'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the fact that, uh, well, because of the recent clock changes, in the Netherlands we actually have this thing called, um, or in Europe we actually have this thing called, uh, every winter and every summer uh, the time goes like uh, in advance one hour or goes back one hour. So uh, on the 21st of March it actually went um, forward one hour, and because of that I actually forgot that I, uh, that it was like the news flash. And I didn't get to record, uh, I actually already went through the winners of last week, but from to my knowledge, um, what I uh, remember from the top of my head, the first place winner winning the uh, the Soul Shard Necromancer in the Centipede Slam tournament actually had 588,000 points, something like that. Uh, the second place was a little bit under that with 570,000 points, and the third place actually had 288,000 points. So that was fairly interesting, but, but unfortunately I did not record that or I didn't have it on tape for you guys. So I apologize for that too. Next week I'll make sure that we will still have it. And uh, that being said, let's move on to this weekly tournament. The Creepy Crawl Brawl. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the rewards here. So another a Ages of Sky Majesty as the tournament reward, to be honest. I find that a little bit ridiculous. Um, very ridiculous because uh, absolutely ridiculous. Because because uh, the epic is really outdated right now and I'm not saying like um, get the newest epics out there you know the ones that have been recently released but at least give us some epics that are not obtainable through fusion because that would be nice and uh, the best one I actually wrote it down uh, let me just quick take a look here the 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 um the epic that I would really like to see that would be most ideal for anyone uh, which would actually make sure that Gree would earn a lot of money would be the uh, Armor of the Devoted. It's a very old Guild War epic. It looks really badass and totally to be honest it just matches this week's theme. And it actually freaking nice armor. It's actually a freaking nice armor because it also matches this epic boss this week. I'll be getting back to that later. But um, because to be honest I cannot just really seem to find a reason. First of all the, ep the Ages of Sky Majesty is just a no go for me. But I also cannot seem to find the, the connection between Creepy Crawl Brawl and the Ages of Sky Majesty. I just really cannot see the connection at all. So if you guys actually know this, make sure to leave a comment about it in the comment section below. Um, I'm saying that really, really fast today. Um, okay, so the Ages of Sky Majesty. I need to talk a little bit in the, in the favor of the armor because it's a pretty nice looking armor. I, I cannot like lie. Be, regardless of the things that are happening, it still really is an amazing looking armor. I like the way it looks. Love the way it looks. Hope to get it at some point. And guys, 
if you're still on with the April Fool's joke, I did not get the Ages of Sky Majesty. Um, I really didn't, guys. I really did not. But the um, elements of Ages of Sky Majesty are wind and earth, uh, wind and fire, which makes it an alright armor. It's not really the best type of combination armor, but at least you know uh, if you're fighting against water. Or if you're fighting against a uh, spirit, the opponent's going to have trouble against you. Other than that, the stats of this armor are ridiculously outdated right by now. Because, you know, I would just feel bad for anyone who really wants to give it a go at the arena. But cannot do that because the epic is just not worth getting second place for. Because you're always having the chance of this one guy really pushing forward towards the first position. Now, you really would need like 5,000 gems in order to get the first place on, uh, on the tournament and actually win that arena tournament. Which is really cool, but if you consider the fact that when there sometimes is a limited edition chest and you having a really high chance of getting the epic for, like, you have a really high chance of getting an epic. For 5,000 gems, you'll be probably getting like two or three epics. The question of the video would be, do you think that for 5,000 gems, it is worth of getting an outdated epic plus with a black meadow as a reward? Make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below as I'm very curious to hear your answer. So the legendary this week is, oh yeah, of course, the, the armor of the wolf. Well, somehow I already kind of knew this because lately it's always been the Ages of Sky Majesty along with the armor of the wolf as a combination. Uh, the armor of the wolf is a pretty cool looking armor, uh, in my opinion. It's a legendary that came out on the 16th of October along with the epic boss Fenris. Um, that kind of means that it's like ancient in terms of knights and dragons it's almost half a year old and this legendary is really outdated you know you should only go for this legendary in order to fuse it away with some other legendary uh, the stats are really bad when you compare it to the recent legendaries although the plus version does make up for a nice defensive wall however if you have to get rank 10 in order to get the plus version of this armor, you might as well not go for it at all and either just uh, stop at like rank 100 or something like that or just get the epic or something like that. You know, it's really a waste if you got 4th position winning the armor of the wolf plus. I'd, be, I'd, I'd imagine myself being very pissed if I actually did that. So uh, let's actually take a look at the ultra rare this week. It is an armor of the infernal lord. Never, no, There's nothing wrong with having uh, plenty of armor of the infernal lords at your disposal. To fuse it away with other kinds of armor that are also 3 stars or ultra rare. So that's always pretty nice. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for this week's uh, results. Or not results, but I'm talking about the rewards of the arena. Let's take a look at the actual quest line. This this week as well make sure to finish off this quest line so that way you actually be well on your way of getting a few gems as a reward and um, for some reason you know these quests has been have been harder for me uh, lately with weird requirements like have a nine times win streak or something like that you know I hope this week it will be a little bit more obtainable for me uh, for some people it's really obtainable for other people sometimes it is sometimes it really isn't it depends on what type of quests they are but they're always nice to try to finish because you're going to get some experience some money and some gems so uh, next event is actually the event that has been announced it is the fusion fighters blitz guild war that is going to last for one day and it's going to start today in roughly nine hours eight and a half hours something like that the featured element this week is earth so that means if you use these uh, fusion boost armors that you're going to win as a reward you'll be getting a 20 percent bonus that means you're going to get 180 experience per fusion boost that you're using for enhancing an earth armor that's really amazing um as always i'll bring you the results uh, episode in which we compare the last fusion war compared to this war to see what the changes are and what guilds are have entered the top 25 or top 10 and which guilds haven't so uh, it should be quite interesting and fun for us so if you're actually curious to see uh, what episode I'm gonna be bringing out to you guys tomorrow make sure to you hit that subscribe button in the screen right now uh, so that way you also be updated on the latest news here on Knights and Dragons on my channel um, as always it will actually try to aim for top 250 if we actually manage to do that we'll uh, actually get an earth fusion boost armor times 7 and you'll be getting 9 fusion stones so that's always a nice reward and with that being said let's actually move on to the next event which is an ongoing event right now 
it's actually redeeming time right now you can collect your rewards now if you actually saved up your epic armors and if you're going to craft the latest epic boss it's the creepy crawlers boss event collection and um, it's entering the third week so that means this event is going to round off very soon the redeeming period is until the 8th of april so you only have like four and a half days left in order to redeem your rewards if you have crafted the regular versions of the last three epic bosses and by that i'm talking about the was carapace the vermaxis plate mill and of course the raymond of arachnos you will be capable of getting a spider scape which is really amazing i think it looks pretty cool uh but judging by the way it looks it doesn't work with every single type of armor but it will surely work with the raymond of arachnos looks really amazing and um if you're actually uh, uh, such a badass that you're capable of uh, crafting the plus versions of the epic boss armor you'll be getting a green collade of skull pack and that armor is amazing although you can only wear it on your main knight uh, again to give you guys a warning you don't have a whole lot of time left in order to defeat the epic boss 43 times because the redeeming period of the green collade of is only until the 8th of april where the epic boss has been summoned there to be there until the 9th of april so you gotta make sure that on the 8th of april you will need to have the Wasp Carapus Plus, the Vermaxis Armor Plus, and the Raymond of Arachnos Plus in order to get the Green Kaleidos Scalpic. And, uh, you know, the Raymond of Arachnos Plus takes some crafting time, so you gotta really be sure to be done at the 6th, of 5th, uh, 6th or 5th of April. Luckily for me, I've been certain to get that Green Kaleidos Scalpic. As I'm already defeated the epic boss 43 times, which is really nice. So speaking of this week's epic boss, let's take a look here. It's the one and only Arachnos, the epic boss. To be honest, I don't really know how to pronounce this boss. It's Arachnos or Arachnos. I don't know. I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind. But uh, what I didn't notice in the beginning because of the darker background. I'm going to zoom in, in here a little bit uh, on the screen. Uh, but I really love the details of the boss because you see... At the left side, you see, uh, and the right side, you see like two little spiders crawling on the legs of the almighty Arachnos. It's like hanging in there. I really like that. Uh, I think that Greece putting a tremendous amount of effort in the design of the bosses, but as well in the armors. However, I was a little bit surprised that the epic boss this week was Spirit along with earth i did not expect to be um to have earth as the second element i might have been wrong with that but uh that's because to me the the color green doesn't immediately imply or uh tell me that this boss is earth to me i might be a little bit wrong with this one uh but you guys seem to be right a uh, majority of you guys were actually predicting that it was going to be a earth type element boss so i was like you know because you guys are also predicting that you know it might as well be earth and you guys were right about that so congratulations to you guys so let's take a look at the armor actually uh the one thing that you immediately notice when you pay close attention to this is that when you consider all of the creepy crawlers events armors um, the 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 armors look really similar in to each other in terms of design. Um, when you uh, look at the wrist guards of the the raiment of Arachnos, you can already see it has the same type of blades as the Was Carapus has. And uh, what's also very similar is that the shoulder plates of all of the three armors are really very buffy in the end, and that kind of occurred to me. Uh, because these these armors look very samurai type you know very samurai like you know the Japanese type of armors for the samurais it really kind of gives me that feeling but I might be really a geek for saying that I'm also very sorry that I don't have a funny joke about the boss I was thinking about that while like commentating over this but I really don't uh, the only thing I can say that really isn't all that funny probably is that Ronald Weasley from Harry Potter really wouldn't like to match up with this boss because you know it's a spider so uh yeah talking about the armor at first i thought i was going to like the was carapace better in the end i was a little bit disappointing because the gaps between the blades just wasn't really all that appealing to me in the end um i really liked the vermaxis armor a lot i haven't seen the weapon yet but the raiment of arachnos looks very very badass uh I might even like it better, I don't know. I'm very anxious to see what the weapon looks like of both armors. And uh, to be honest, it's going to be very interesting for us to watch. So, um, where we actually take a look at the element combination and the stats of the armor. The stats don't necessarily defeat the uh, Vermaxis Plate Mill, as the armor combination has only total... The total combined stats of 20 less than the Vermaxis Plate Mill, still making it uh, the second highest total stats combined armor legendary wise in the game. 
uh that was really weird when i said that but what i really like about this armor is that it carries spirit and earth as the elements now i am almost 100 percent sure that i want to replace my raid skill armor plus 40 raiment of arachnos but i'm not entirely sure when i'll do that i'll be covering episodes about that in the near future so make sure you look forward to that other than that the um the nemesis looks pretty badass it's very straightforward very fire type as well pretty i don't know pretty nice looking armor i really like the way it looks it really implies that this is a fire type really like it a lot and uh, this week is very successful in terms of designs and i really like the way things look this week so with that being said we're kind of through our events this week i really hope you guys enjoy this week's uh ep i hope you guys are going to get very far in the creepy crawlers event and other than that Feel free to express your thoughts and opinions about these events with everyone else in the comment section below. And um, if you guys by any chance want to see more from me on Knights of Dragons, you can always follow me on Twitter. And you can follow me on Instagram. I'm more active on Twitter, by the way. I post up little random pictures of, about Knights of Dragons from time to time and keep you guys updated and everything. And uh, what you guys can do as well is hit the like button on my official Facebook fan page. But other than that, everything that you guys need to know about me and my channel is in the comment section below. I mean in the description in the video description of this video so make sure you check that out and that really was it for this week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always if you guys like this video make sure to boom give it a thumbs up I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm reversal bringing your weekly Knights and Dragons news signing off and I'll see you guys next week